Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create this responsive portfolio website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The source code is available in the description. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe. This website is entirely responsive and you can see the very uh, perfectly professional look to your website. Your personal portfolio can be very helpful for you in, the, in your recruitment section whenever you are applying for a job. So right now we are in the home section. You can see the nav bar, you can see the whole effect on the nav elements, the color change effect, and you can see the uh, infinite change in text. You can see how it's going back and front and revealing that uh, text. Then we have the whole effect on the buttons. You can see then whole effect on the our social media icons. Then you can see the smooth transition of revealing of elements, and you can see an infinitely moving. Uh, this is done by using keyframes in the CSS. You can see the whole effect, how neatly they have all been aligned. And you can see the effect, power effect on the education and experience section. And you can see how neatly we have created the lines. And the skill section, the progress bar section, you can see the whole effect. And you can see how neatly we have given the bar effect giving a very professional look to your website then you can see the contact me form contact me form and you can use a big button right this is but this button is for moving back to the starting page you can see we have also used javascript here and you can go back you can this website is entirely responsive that is it is also available in mobile version tab version also now let me show you the mobile version so this is the mobile version you can see how neatly they have all been aligned exactly at the same time perfectly aligned and this website you know, is especially for the students who are looking for the resume projects right you need very important projects in your resume and it, it will give a very professional look to your uh, resume and it will give a very good impression to your recruiters very job friendly you can see the memo bar um, the animation effect the transition effect is also very cool and you can see that it is not taking very much of time or uh, delayed uh, responses it is very very fast and this website is entirely beginner friendly that is even you can make it on by yourself the source code is available in the description and definitely try to build this project and don't if you have any doubts any queries about the project please do visit uh the channel back again and uh, comment comment your uh, errors that you are facing or any issues regarding the source code that i have provided and or if you need any help in uh, getting new tutorials or you want me to make any more information that you want you to let me know about web development content development and definitely comment comment and the uh, source code is available in the description thank you so much for watching this video the full tutorials are also available on the website if you like if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you paragraph element then we are going to the skill section this is the let me show you the skill section this is the skill section in the skill section we have the h2 element same heading tag then we have the uh, main div that is skills row and skills column in that we are adding the h3 element for the heading tag element for the title that is coding skills and we are using a div that is skill box inside that we have another div that is skill content and has a div for each div that is progress for each and every skill we are adding an h3 element then we are adding a div for the bar that we are going to create and the same div is copied again for uh, css javascript react and we are adding a span element for animation school the same div the same entire div that is skill box is entire div is co uh, copied again for professional skills and i'm using same one the h3 element div for the bar so same one i'm using here also for the uh, next that is for the professional skills and i'm adding a span element for the animate school animation school then you can see that uh, uh, the skill section ends here. 
can go to the CSS here. The skills minimum height is auto, padding bottom is 7 RAM, background is given to it. Then we have the skills H2 that is for the H2 tag that is setting tag. We are adding displays inline block. Left is given to left is 50 percent, transforms translate Y minus 50 percent. That is nothing but whenever uh, you can see here, whenever you hover onto it, the background uh, will be there, right? Then for the H2 element that we have added. Then we have the skills row for each skills row displays flex flex direction is wrapped skills uh, column we are adding flex equal to 1140 rem because of which only the flex items will be aligned exactly one after the other. Then we have title title skills box uh, then skills content for that we are adding the position border radius is given to it then we have skills content before. Uh, Then we have zero percent where height is width is given to it. Then we have width is zero percent, height is hundred percent, background bar bg color is given, the index is minus one, transition is minus five seconds. And this is nothing but whenever you hover onto this uh, skill section, right? Coding skills or professional skills, you will see a light uh, uh, screen effect that it will be displayed to you by using this one before effect that we are creating here. Then for the progress bar, we are adding the padding and its real element font size dis uh, displays flex space between we are adding then we are adding the span for the span we are adding the color and for the bar we are creating height is equal to 2.5 m border radius is 8 m you can see here the bar this bar the percentage bar and progress for each and every progress bar we are using the child in the child values we are giving the width values to it so that we will be able to get the exact score that we are adding here you can see 90 percent 90 percent bar is filled 80% 80% bar is filled similar way that is uh, that is how we are adding the by using the end child values we are adding the values to it by changing the width values we are adding them for each and every child element then we can go to the contact me section uh, this is the contact section the contact section you can see we have the same heading tag for the h2 element using the h2 element and then we have the form element inside that we have a box for input box and input field div inside that we have an input tag with the type is text and placeholder is given as full name and we have the span element for focus element that we're going to create the the same div input field div is copied again for two more times and we are adding a span element for the animation scroll then we have the same input div box copied again for two more times for input number for the type number text for adding the mobile number and email uh, email uh, subject and we are having the same and animation school then we have a text area field in in that ad, we are adding your text area uh, tag for um, by with the columns as 30 row is 10 whenever you want to add more data that you want to let the user to enter then we use the uh, text area then we use the text area and then we have the div for the btn bo uh, box that is button that is one is the button that we are adding and animations called pan span value is added here and we have the footer footer in that footer we are adding the div the main div inside that we have the paragraph tag for adding the corporate button and animations called span is added here then we have the footer icon top uh, this button is nothing but arrow up button so whenever you click on this button it will move back to the starting uh, starting page and we have linked our script element by using the script tag this is the one this is the contact me form the contact for that we are adding minimum height padding bottom is given uh contact has to value that is setting to value we are adding displays in line block left is 50 percent transform stands at 50 percent and we are adding the contact form for the form element we are adding maximum width equal to 70 rem margin and text align is center and each input box is positioned related to displays flex justify content space between the flex wrap is wrap so you can see they are wrapped in one single row beside each other and space is added between them you can see here the space is added justify current space between then for each input field we are adding the position is relative with this 49 percent margin is given to it field input text area for the field input as well as for the text area we are adding the width values you can see width is 100 percent height is 100 percent font size font width value color background is given to it border radius is 6 rem you can see lightly curved edges for each and input element that we have then for the placeholder we are adding the color as text color 
you can see place all the document the values that is full name mobile number email email subject your name your message then focus element for the focus element we are adding the absolute press nothing but whenever you uh, whenever you uh, click on this button and enter any data for that one we are adding the focus element this focus element will be visible for each and every one you can see here focus for the input fields as well as for the text area the width will be equal to 100 percent it will give a very classy and professional look to your website then we have the text area field for that position is related to margin display flex is having to it. the text area resize is none this is nothing but we, the size will not increase until it will just continuously uh, uh, enter the user can enter the data for the buttons we are adding the cursor pointer put out displays flex just by continue space between all and item center we are adding the footer elements here footer has only one uh, two elements one is the button for the apparel and one is for the uh, copyright button that we have in the paragraph element uh, icon top anchor tag that we have used for it position is added to it display flex is center all and item center or flex header then for the anchor tag before we are creating a box effect that is even onto it so whenever you hold onto it the weight will be 100 percent or it is an animation that we have added then you can uh, see the animation reload and score that is it is animate for the so animation is added to it position is absolute top is zero with this 100 percent height is 100 percent background with bg color and with this given to it and for each animation that we are doing is, is for the logo naba and menu icon and uh, home show animate animation this for that we are adding the animation that is show right the show right is nothing but uh, you can show right animation is added to it that is from the right side it will the animation will start and in the child we are adding the background color is given and for about show animation and education show animate skill show animate for that transition delay will be calculated based on whenever you moving from one section to the section right then the animation will take place then for now selection we are using for uh, Firefox here I'm using color background is added selection is color and background is added for the breakpoints breakpoints is nothing but the uh, responsive web design that is nothing but whenever you want to make your website available in mobile tab uh, in desktop in any version of the devices that you want to apply then you will add the uh, edited media queries to it that based on the size that is 200 pixel is nothing but for the desktop version I'm creating here so you have first you have to do is that you have to complete the website in any one of it that is either in mobile or in desktop you complete the entire code then you just have to change the font size values padding values you can see padding width values are changing because in the mobiles in the mobile view we don't have uh, as much as space as in the desktop right the space is reduced so we have to reduce the values that's all we are not creating any new values here we are just reducing the values we are changing the display values here you can see the nav active left equal to zero this is whenever you click on the nav menu icon that we have seen in the script right in the script uh, in the script or js we have seen this is for the nav bar right so that it will add the to list and it will display the menu icon for us it will display the menu bar uh, entire menu that is active nav bar in position is right here um, active nav element left transition nav element anchor tags we are adding the font size printer then you can see for the 520 below values this is for the different screen sizes i'm using here display values only will change most of the time display values font size values margin values will change change is nothing but we are not adding anything we are reducing the size values that's all first it will be like 10 rem we are using 5 rem that's all and these are the animations that we are using by using the keyframes we can add an animation that is mentioning the percentages that we want the animation to take place you can write here and you can see this is for the home cursor and about spinner and show right button that is width equal to zero percent hundred percent this is the entire one this is the naba that we have added ahead of sticky this window is nothing but whenever you move on from one section to another section right it will get the attribute as id id values will it will catch up and those id values will be used to know that uh, right now it which at which section you are right now in and it will make the uh top menu icon the uh, nav elements will be there right the color will change automatically so that it will it is like continuously recognizing which section you are moving from so that is added here by just by uh, gathering your id values of your particular section that's it mm. if you like the content please do like share and subscribe uh, definitely try to visit the channel for more amazing content for more tutorials and uh, source code is available in the description if you like the content
please do like share and subscribe definitely let me know what your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video thank you hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to create this responsive portfolio website using html css and javascript the source code is available in the description if you like the content please do like share and subscribe this website is entirely responsive and you can see the very uh, perfectly professional look to your website your personal portfolio can be very helpful for you in the in your recruitment section whenever you are applying for a job so right now we are in the home section you can see the nav bar you can see the whole effect on the nav elements the color change effect and you can see the uh, infinite change in text you can see how it's going back and front and revealing that uh, text then we have the hover effect on the buttons you can see then hover effect on the our social media icons then you can see the smooth transition of revealing of elements and you can see an infinitely moving uh, this is done by using keyframes in the css you can see the hover effect how neatly they have all been aligned and you can see the effect power effect on the education and experience section and you can see how neatly we have created the lines and the skill section the progress bar section you can see the whole effect and you can see how neatly we have given the bar effect giving a very professional look to your website then you can see the contact me form contact me form and you can use the submit button Right, this is but this button is for moving back to the starting page. You can see we have also used JavaScript here, and you can go back. You can this chat is entirely responsive, that is, it is also available in mobile version, tab version. Also, now let me show you the mobile version. So, this is the mobile version. You can see how neatly they have all been aligned exactly at the center, perfectly aligned, and this website. Uh, is especially for the students who are looking for the resume projects right you need very important projects in your resume and it, it will give a very professional look to your uh, resume and it will give a very good impression to your recruiters very job friendly you can see the memo bar um, the animation effect the transition effect is also very cool and you can see that it, it is not taking very much of time or uh, delayed uh, responses it is very very fast and this website is entirely beginner friendly that is even you can make it on by yourself the source code is available in the description and definitely try to build this project and don't if you have any doubts any queries about the project please do visit uh, the channel back again and we, uh, comment comment your uh, errors that you are facing or any issues regarding the source code that I have provided and or if you need any help in uh, getting new tutorials or you want me to make any more information that you want you to let me know about web development, content development and definitely comment, comment and the uh, source code is available in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. The full tutorials are also available on the website. If you like, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.